DJ Quick is one of the greatest and most influential West Coast hip hop producers of all time. Born in Compton, California, he hoped to find the sound of West Coast hip hop with his self released albums, as well as bringing G Funk to hip hop in the early 90s. The centerpiece of DJ Quick's production setup was the MPC 62. In this video, DJ Quick says, We were all into MPC 60s, too. If you knew better, you got yours, you got the MPC 62. This was the second MPC that came out and still have the ability to create some of the best beats you'll ever hear. DJ Quick's second go-to machine was the SP-1200. You can hear him talk about it here. Battlecat actually introduced me to the MPC-60 when it first came out and I wasn't ready for it because I wasn't ready for all the MIDI implementation because I was a SP-1200 man. The SP-1200 is still one of the greatest drum machines of all time, even after 30 years. DJ Quick was a big fan of the Akai drum machine line. You can see him in his video using the MPC-3000. He also states that the MPC-3000 is one of his favorite drum machines. DJ Quick also used the MPC Renaissance. You can see him here posting his custom one on Twitter. The last drum machine DJ Quick is known to use is probably the most famous one, the Roland TR-808. He states in this interview that he used it to make Can You Work With That. This beat right here. Thank you, bro. Mm. He used a real 808 drum machine. Mm. Not the samples. Not the samples, right? Not the machine. You still had the machine? Still had it. The keyboards that DJ Quick was known to use is the Roland JD-800 synthesizer and the Roland JP-8000. You can see both of them in this picture with DJ Quick. He also used the Roland SH-101 synthesizer. In the interview with Fader, he talks about using the synthesizer to enhance the 808. DJ Quick have produced some of the most critically acclaimed hip-hop songs and albums of all time and helped push West Coast hip-hop to where it is today. He's gone on to produce for a lot of the greatest artists of all time like Tupac, Jay-Z, Shaq, yes, I'm talking about the basketball player, and Snoop Dogg. Shout outs to Daryl Johnson for the recommendation to cover DJ Quick. If you have a producer that I haven't done yet, put it in the comment section below. If you are interested in any of the equipment I spoke about in this video, I have included a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching.